This video is for demonstration purposes only. When applying the Miami JTO, it is important to follow correct spinal protocol at all times. Please reference the instructions for use for warnings, cautions, and general safety instructions. The Miami JTO thoracic extension is a versatile, tool-free spinal brace designed to treat cervical and high thoracic injuries. The device is designed exclusively for use with the Miami J Collar, Miami Junior Collar, size P3, and Miami J Select, setting 1 to 5. Fits adult patients with a waist circumference greater than 24 inches or 61 centimeters. The device should be worn over light clothing. Ensure that correct spinal protocol is followed. Remove sternal pad from collar and chin strut from the front panel of the device. Squeeze collar to expose chin rivet. Attach chin strut. The connection on the top of the chin strut will slide around the chin rivet and snap into place. Attach feet of chin strut to the front panel in the lowest position. The collar sternal plate attaches to the hook and loop at the top of the front panel. Make sure the padding of the collar is behind the front panel padding. Apply the front panel to the patient. Adjust the height of the chin strut on the front panel to suit the patient's anatomy. Align the rivet holes in the chin strut with corresponding holes on the front panel to ensure symmetrical positioning. Adjust the height of the front panel by pushing the button on the front plate and sliding the strut to the highest possible position. It should be above the costal margin. Slide the collar back piece behind the patient's neck and center it, noting the arrow on the panel pointing up. Ensure the padding extends beyond the edge of the plastic. Note, long hair should be placed outside of the plastic. Flare the sides of the collar's front piece out. Slide it up the chest wall and scoop it up under the chin. The sides of the front piece should be oriented up off the trapezius and toward the ears. While holding the front piece securely, curl the ends snugly against the patient's neck. With the front piece of the device inside the back piece, apply the hook and loop strap and secure the opposite side of the device in the same fashion. Tighten straps alternately to an equal length on both sides. Hook and loop straps must be aligned to the front adhesive sections. Excess may be trimmed. Log roll the patient onto their side. Position the back panel by centering it over the spine with the top edge of the panel approximately at T1 or T2. Proper positioning of the back panel will allow the scapula to move freely. Log roll the patient back into the supine position. Attach the front panel to the back panel using the waist buckles. Tighten the waist straps equally to center the front panel. Excess may be trimmed. Attach the shoulder buckles and tighten the shoulder straps equally. Excess may be trimmed. Readjust all straps as necessary when the final fit has been confirmed. Attach the rivets on both sides to secure the chin strut to the front panel. A properly applied device will look like Chin is centered comfortably in chin support. Hook and loop straps are equal length and aligned to front adhesive sections. Chin should not extend over the edge of the pad nor fall inside the collar. Front of collar angled up toward ears. The lower plastic edge should not be resting on the patient's clavicles nor digging into the trapezius. Front and back panels are centered on the body. No plastic touching skin. Pads extend beyond all plastic edges. No slack or gaps in any of the straps. Chin strut set at lowest permissible treatment position. When the final fit has been confirmed, attach the rivets on both sides to secure the chin strut to the front panel. Ensure that correct spinal protocol is followed. Undo the buckles of the front panel and straps of collars from piece.
Remove the front panel and slide the back piece out from behind the head. Removing the back panel may require a log roll. Remove the pads from the plastic shells. Hand wash the pads with mild soap and water. Do not use harsh detergents or bleach. Rinse. Wring out the excess water and squeeze in towel. Lay flat to air dry. Wipe the plastic collar shells clean with mild soap and water. Replace pads by attaching the gray or dull side to the hook on the inside of the brace. Note: Do not machine wash, tumble dry, iron, bleach, or wash with fabric softener.